What's up guys, it's Colby Brock. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, before this real video starts, I just wanted to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one about things that have been happening recently, and I also wanted to address a couple things too. So I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but Sam posted a video last week called Addressing the Hate, where we basically talked about, especially on Twitter, all the, the negativity we were seeing um, with fans just towards each other. It was just a super negative place. And I'm not saying every single fan was doing that. It was only like a small, small group of people that were doing this and hating on each other. But it got to a point where we saw this so much that we knew we had to say something. So if you haven't seen Sam's video yet, just go click it right here, check it out, and then come back to this one. But I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to you guys because after I took my break, I've been looking at Twitter this past like couple days and people are being so much nicer to each other and very positive, which is literally all I could ask for. So first, I think we should talk about the negativity in the fandom. I'm saying this again because it's super important, but this is only a small group of people. So don't think I'm talking directly to you. If you weren't involved at all, it's, it's no big deal. But like we were kind of explaining last week on Sam's video, if you see somebody that's being super negative, mean to you, just not agreeing with what you have to say on Twitter or any other social medias, the best thing you can do is just block them or ignore them completely. Because I've been doing social media for a really long time and what I've noticed is that if you fight fire with fire, the fire just gets bigger, you know? It, it just makes everything worse and more people end up getting their feelings hurt than the situation being resolved. And that does not mean silence your opinion and not tweet the things that you wanna tweet. I'm just saying if you fight back with somebody that may not agree with you or is just being mean in general to you, it's not gonna do anything better for the situation. So I would encourage you guys, if that ever happens to you in the future personally, just block that person, agree to disagree, and move on. And like I said, over the past couple days, I've been noticing so many of you who have been doing that and Thank you, it's working, it's helping a lot. I also wanna talk about the people I associate myself with and my friends in my life. First of all guys, I am not perfect. I literally am just trying to do the best I can to judge people um, to the best of my ability and I think it's unfair that I receive negativity for the people that I associate myself with because we're, we're two different people. I just, I just don't think it's fair how if somebody is in my video, then I get automatically associated with things that maybe they have said or done in the past when that's not true at all. And, it, and it's really just, like I said, not fair to be put in that position in the first place. Again, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm a different person than people that I hang out with. And so it's not fair that these people or me even get hate from just hanging out with each other. You guys know this, but hashtag Solby and hashtag Broby have been a huge thing since the beginning of social media for, for the most part. And this was something that wasn't even created by like me or my friends, it was created by uh, the audience like like you guys and, and it's supposed to be like a funny like ship name for me and my friends and I think it's like, Nothing more but just like a joke. And this bromance that I have with some of my friends like Sam or Brennan can be really taken seriously by people and turned into a negative situation as well. So I really wanna say a big sorry to any of you out there watching who I may have queer baited in the past. I definitely have had some videos where it insinuates that I may be gay um, just to get views and that is not okay. But I wanna let you guys know that I've already taken the steps to go on not only my channel, but the Sam and Colby channel to delete any of those past videos because it really isn't okay to queer bait. And uh, I've learned that and yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry for that. I, I think there's a huge difference between queer baiting somebody by, you know, titling a video something for views and just having a fun, lighthearted bromance with somebody, which is like what Sam or Brennan and I have. There's literally no competition here whatsoever. All the rumors that you may have been hearing are false. Guys, nobody's trying to break Sam and I up. We've been best friends for so long and we're gonna be best friends forever. I've never meant to like offend anybody. It's, it's all just for fun and yeah, I hope you guys can see that. It's really just us being stupid. And now before I start this video, I just really wanna to talk to you about Amber, the person you're about to see in this video. So I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but like a few months ago, Jake made this video where he tricked my fan base into thinking that I had a girlfriend and it was actually Sam. Uh, and 
honestly, I thought it was super funny. It was, it was a prank that we all laughed at afterwards and a lot of you guys thought it was funny too. Um, and so the video that you're about to see is literally me recreating that with Amber. So I just want to make that clear that Amber and I have been nothing but just flirty friends at most. Like we're, that's it. There's so many people that already know that this was a joke, uh, especially like with the TikTok that I posted with Brennan and Amber. Um, I'll put it like a picture of it right here. Uh, this past week, like I thought I was making it more of a prank, more of a joke, and she was like wearing my merch and some of the pictures that we posted, so I didn't mean to offend anybody during that. I just wanna let you know that in the future, I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel comfortable tricking or pranking you guys like that. I don't wanna make you feel bad or hurt anybody's feelings by my actions, so I'm not gonna do that again, but now you know. Speaking of that, there are still a lot of people that if I do show a girl in my social media that they will end up just trying to stick up for me, which I really appreciate. Like a lot of people will comment, be like, he's 23, he can do whatever he wants to, like stop thinking you can own him. And I, as much as I appreciate that, I feel like that just also adds fuel to the fire um, to other people who are like, ah, oh, I want to date this kid, you know what I mean? And it's weird for me to talk about that because I'm the one living the situation, but like all I'm saying is that I think people will understand that I can do what I want, and if somebody is arguing with you about something like that, then just ignore them or block them and just realize, all right, you know what, they have a different opinion, it's all good. Listen guys, the last thing I'm gonna say is that I have changed so much since I started social media. Like, I was a kid in Kansas, super band nerdy, didn't know how to like talk to people, um, as you guys all know my story that I've said a million times, and I feel like I truly grow as a person every single year, even 2020, I would argue that I'm a completely different person than I was back in 2019. 2019 versus 2018, you know I'm constantly growing and that's okay. And you guys should know this by now, but I only do social media to spread positivity and to make people laugh, so in no way have I been trying to offend anybody with the jokes or things that I've done in the past, so that's why I wanted to say something now and talk to you guys just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but yeah, I'm here to have fun and I want to make you guys smile, I want to make you guys laugh, so I don't want to come across as like a... Somebody I'm not, pretty much. I'm not upset at all, I don't want you guys to be upset about anything. Let's just focus on spreading love, spreading positivity like we have been doing so well in the past couple days, and uh, take this video with a grain of salt that you're about to watch. Hope you guys enjoy, and be sure to watch Amber's video when it comes out, but um, yeah, hope you guys like it. Today, <clears throat> I'm with the one and only beautiful Amber Scholl. Hi, guys. <laughs> I didn't know if I was supposed to introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, um, I'm just going to cut to the chase. We have something very important to talk to you about. Um, a lot of you guys have been uh, wondering what we are. What's right? up with us? What's going on? Uh, we've posted some pictures in the past. We've uh, left some comments on each other's pictures as well that could be misinterpreted as something. Or maybe they were interpreted correctly. Or maybe they were. And that's what we're here to talk to you about today. So, we, uh, we're just friends. <laughs> We're just friends. Dashing friend couple though, we're, don't we? Yes, we do. So we do. cute. <laughs> the whole point of this gotcha. video, dude, we tricked you. I feel like we were just friends anyway, so it was like whatever, and then we posted a picture together and people freaked out. People and were freaking yeah. out. That was when, like all the way back in what, like February, February or something like that? Yeah. So like, Beautiful. we've been doing this for what, six months now, took like one picture together, everybody freaked out, so we were like, all right, let's continue this, like who cares? Um, and now we're here, but and what's funny is your guys' response to all of these pictures. Oh my God! And listen, I know you guys are gonna be mad at me, okay? I'm sorry, listen, I just like to trick my fan base sometimes. It's okay. fun to mess with you guys. So forgive me. Don't hate me either, please. So, let's see, the first time we did it was back at the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday, It was at the Crack House, I believe. These are the pictures that we took, guys. I'm gonna pop them up on the screen They're right so here. Cute. They're cute! They're cute! You can't really tell, like, like, what's going on. Like, like, okay, yeah, we're hugging and whatever, but it could just be a cute friend picture and everybody flipped the shit. 
<laughs> as soon as we posted this, like it's such a good insane. photo. The response I got on these, and just looking at like the indirects, like if you go to Twitter and you just type in Amber and Colby, have you seen that? Oh yeah. What? Oh my God. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys like some of these right now because it is insane. And guys, I've been seeing so many people that are just like officially changing my profile account from Colby to Amber now because she's my queen. Like <laughs> Colby, I'm like thanks guys, appreciate that. I'm pretty sure Colby's story is a joke. I mean yeah, him and Amber were hanging out, but I feel like it's Sam in a wig. <laughs> what? That was so mean. So many what? people were like, this is obviously Sam. It's a, clearly a man in a wig, and I was like, Okay, first of all, that actually is me. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been Christ. funny, but like, no. Listen, I don't, I don't know if I told you this before, but like, Jake did a video a long time ago where he kind of did the same thing and like was trying to trick the fan so base. So then you having. already scammed everyone. That's why they think I'm a scam too. Maybe, maybe. So that's why they're saying that. Liar, so I wouldn't liar, take that liar, too. Liar. I don't, I don't know what to say, guys. Like, I'm sorry. And we didn't say anything. I didn't lie to you. We just posted pictures, okay? The boy who cried wolf. <laughs> That's the story. I won't do fing die. This sh <laughs> needs to stop. Kobe and Amber just need to tell us what's going on so we can stop assuming space. Having a naked picture of a girl in Kobe's bathroom, people are going to start assuming stuff. So just come out and tell us. All right, it was a joke. <laughs> oh no. This one just made me. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Um, so this was after we posted those pictures, but I said this has nothing to do with anything by the way I just tweeted let's love each other. Okay, you that's know, it to be like night I said nothing I just yeah, was being no... nice and then everyone got in a fight in the comments and said let this be aimed at Colby He needs a girl and then someone said the world doesn't revolve around Colby <laughs> <laughs> Someone was like, you don't understand. And someone said the stench of local here and called them creased. And then oh they got stabbing creased with your 18 followers. Creased? <laughs> Jesus Christ. To Mars, that was so funny. So what does creased mean? Does that like- I don't know, but I thought that was pretty good. I'm gonna call people creased uh, yeah, with I've eight never, followers too. <laughs> Colby can do whatever he wants, it's his life. So what if he's dating Amber? What is he supposed to do? Stay single for the rest of his life? But also, they can just be friends. Boys and girls can just be friends. They yes. can. That's true. And listen guys, Maybe I want to be single for the rest of my life, all right? Have you ever thought about me being happy while I'm single? <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so offended. There's no way those calves are female. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, did they spell calves calves? <laughs> yes, they spelled it wrong. They first spelled of it all. like They spelled calves. it like cows. No, it's a girl. My calves, first of all. I Come mean, on, like, like how was that Sam? Family, I guess. This is the last, last thing I'm gonna say about a Sam comment, okay? <laughs> this <is> the, <laughs> the whole video is gonna be roasted to me being looking like Sam. Fine. Sam would it's be a very beautiful back. girl, like you my can't, opinion, but that's yes, fine. <laughs> he, he would be, you know? I've seen <laughs> him in a wig, he's hot. <laughs> Honestly, think this is just a prank. Like the Colby girlfriend video. See, you got it. You caught on. Amber Scholl's body is tan and more curvy. Thank and you. And this looks a lot like Sam's <laughs> body. So they complimented you and then boom. <laughs> and wearing the merch again, like in the prank video. If this is Colby's girlfriend, he deserves it. Let him live. See, very nice at the end. Thank you. And you strategically can't see my face. We yes. thought that was funnier, but apparently it just makes me look like Sam. So <laughs> I don't Colby Brock comments under Amber Scholl's Insta pics, and I think it's weird to think they even exist in the same <laughs> universe. <laughs> and then a Trap House fan was like, what's that supposed to mean? She said, Colby is edgy, and Amber is like the totally opposite of that. So you wouldn't think to see him and her interacting. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, Amber and Colby is an is, and, and I'm stop, <laughs> God damn it, guys. <laughs> is a unstoppable and f***ing breathtaking sexy ass duo. Wow, wow. see? Thanks. Thank you, appreciate that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We got, you know, mixed responses. I feel like most people hate it. Most <laughs> people hated it, but that's how it's always been. Oh, so does everyone always... hate you with girls? They, it's, it's, they've gotten a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. But like last year, last year, like when I was saying Jake did a video, it was yeah. really bad at one point. Oh. We're like, we're like, I would have like girls in my videos or, mm -hmm. or like, like, uh, Instagram stories something and just death threats like oh, every Oh, I got a couple of angry death threats. Yeah, things are not always as what it they seems. Seem. Yeah, 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 so like it's, it's Or maybe they are. Or maybe they are. Now we're just confusing <laughs> the f*** out of here. Alright, I think we should do another picture right now and show how we do it behind Let's the scenes. do it. Are you down? I'm down. Alright. What kind of spicy selfies can we take to start <gasps> some drama? Usually this is how it works, right? You have me, we try to act like soup, like over the top, like inconspicuous. Yeah, like it like just super, so super happens. Yeah, we have to like, we can't be super 
obvious. We can't just take like a, well, we did that the first time, I guess. But we, well, we did. We, <laughs> Inconspicuous. <laughs> I don't like. Eh. I'm thinking you have to be in the background, like last time. Yeah. But and it's like, and it's like me, ball. like accidentally getting you in there, and then that's how people freak out when it's like the accident, you know, secretive. What if I could go to the backyard and you guys are like sitting there, heads like on your shoulder, and it's like in the background of like. Your Snapchat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great That's idea, a man. Idea. That's a good idea, man. We're gonna do that. Ready? Let's go. That's a good idea, creative. All right, guys. So we're trying to figure out the game plan right now. We're thinking that you and I are gonna be on. This. Gonna give you a lap dance. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, and then Brennan's gonna be in the background, just nonchalantly filming my backyard because that's super normal, right? And I always am sitting in this lounge chair, fully dressed. Always, 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 always on a super. That's like hot day, so <laughs> it's gonna make a lot of sense. I'm gonna oh. put the camera up like right here, so everybody can see like what goes on. We're gonna rearrange it so they face this way, so the camera sees it from the Somehow side. Somehow not suspicious. Don't be suspicious. We got it. I'm gonna be just sitting like in full clothes. Oh yeah. And you want me to just? Oh, we're just, we're just chilling, dude. dude this is way too obvious. This is obvious. so. How is this not obvious? You guys are just. I feel like I'm dead. Is that too obvious? That's funny. You know? I'm gonna do this one from like over here. Chapa's backyard is a five. I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe we should. This is so sick, I hear so much. Oh, is that one too fat? Oh, this is actually pretty good. I like it. I think that's more, like, very it's suspicious. It's more realistic, yeah. right? Yeah, those are pretty Do you think that shows enough, though? Like, no, like, you can definitely tell. So, I don't know if you guys um, saw that. I think we fucking nailed it. And Brennan just posted it, so if you got tricked by it, you're watching this in real time, you see, you're, you're gonna see this first. Comment down below. Let us know. That's how you do it. It's as easy as that, baby. And it's fun. I feel like I got a nice tan out yeah, here. Yeah, it's real nice. They're gonna think it's Sam if you just stand like this. <laughs> so, guys, that's it. That's it's, it's, it's as easy as that. And if you got tricked, then comment down below. Just wanna say this. I know I've said this like twice already in this video, but we're just playing with you guys, you know? Like, it's just for fun. It's like, honestly, honestly. Like what? I forgot how to speak. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I mean, we literally are friends in real life, obviously. So we are just hanging out. And when we take pictures, like it's just because we took pictures. Then, then when you re reacted funny, it got funnier. So yeah. we were like, we should get on. We had we had to keep going with it. So if you guys don't subscribe to Amber right now, what are you doing? Go down to her channel. You, what do you do? You do stuff like hauls and DIYs and stuff yes. and room decor and makeup. Room decor. Am, I, am I right with all of that? It's just correct. <gasps> there you go. So if you're interested in that. Go down below and we might do something on our channel where I turn her into an e-girl. Maybe. 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 So if you want to see that, <laughs> click subscribe. Get ready for that. Um, comment down below if you want to see another video. Oh, wait. I got a good idea. What? I got a really good okay, idea. Okay, I'm ready. If this video gets 60,000 likes, <gasps> do you want to redo my room? I already I have feel like, like I just got proposed to. Will I read through yes! your room? Of course, I do, yes. That would be awesome. So if you guys want to see that, leave a like. Also, subscribe down to Brennan too. Thanks for helping. Thanks for shopping. Wow, thanks for shout out. Um, and I will see you guys next week. So thanks for watching. Peace. Bye. Uh. <laughs> What's up guys?